How do wealthy families use infinite banking? My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we are the founders of Wealth Nation. We teach entrepreneurs and go-getters how to own their own lifestyle through the infinite banking concept. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notifications bell so that you're notified when we upload new videos. And check out our Patreon page so that you can understand how to incorporate infinite banking into your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and get started. What are we talking about today? Wealthy families. Yes. So, go ahead. What? <laughs> no, you go ahead. <laughs> no, you go ahead. <laughs> so, when it comes to how do wealthy families use infinite banking, well, it's what our experience has been uh -huh. with the wealthy families that we know. Mm -hmm. So, one thing that we talked about previously on our YouTube channel is how we were introduced to infinite banking, and it was through a business investment. Mm -hmm. You all know that, or some of you may not know, but prior to infinite banking, what we were doing was investing in real estate. And what we were doing is connecting private money lenders with real estate investors so that they can fund their projects. Correct. And one private money lender that we happened to work with gave us a loan from his insurance policy. Mm -hmm. Now, that business investment was, to, was through real estate, but utilizing the tool of infinite banking. So the payments that we made back to him funded his insurance policies. Mm -hmm. What a concept. Yes. And we did not understand what all of that meant, but we were like, cool, however it works. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we just kept asking questions, kept asking questions, kept asking questions. They were like, okay, we should definitely tell people about this. And the second way wealthy families utilize infinite banking is through family banking. Now, traditionally, I know families and money don't mix, but with wealthy families, yes, they do. <laughs> so in this instance, just conceptualize this for a moment. Take your entire family and think about how much money each individual is paying in principal and interest every single month to a financial institution. Mm -hmm. And that's money going out of the family, right? Exactly. Okay. So, <laughs> just checking. Mm -hmm. So what wealthy families do is they look at the matriarchs and the patriarchs of the family because traditionally they have more money. Mm -hmm. So instead of going to the bank for a mortgage or for a car loan or any other uh, thing that you need to finance, mom and dad finance it. And then the children pay mom and dad market rate or even a little bit higher than market rate because it's mom and dad. So when you think about it, when those children are paying principal and interest every single month back to mom and dad, those payments are funding the policies, which are increasing the cash value, increasing the death benefit, and increasing the dividends for those policies. And what happens if mom and dad were to pass, those death benefits are passed back to the children so the children can use those use those funds that they help build to create more policies to create a larger banking system for their family. Yeah, that's very interesting. And, and just to pick back on that, what I notice is a lot of the wealthy families that we, um, that we have, have worked with, they don't mind paying each other interest. They don't no. mind financing things through each other. No. And that's one thing that I've really, really taken away is mm -hmm. that Again, in order for you to get wealthy, it's not about how much money you make, it's about how much money you keep. Mm -hmm. And in these families, they're keeping all of their money inside the families, which is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's a paradigm shift because if, what we found is if relatives go outside of the family bank and go to a bank, then they're like, uh, in trouble. It's a problem. <laughs> and that affects how much death benefit is passed to those children if they go outside of the, the family bank. So think about that. It's yeah. huge. Yeah. And uh, point number three, another thing that uh, we've noticed which, which wealthy families do is that they finance college tuitions through that family bank. Mm -hmm. And and just to, again, they don't have any problems with paying each other principal and interest. So think about how much it costs to go to college. Mm -hmm. Now these families have money to finance college. So when that degree is achieved, they pay the family bank back the interest. The children. The, pay. the children pay mm -hmm. the, the family bank back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and again, what we're basically talking about is not only are we listing <laughs> things for you, we're talking about programming. Yes. Because when you are born and taught about family banking and taught about borrowing and paying interest back to the family banking system, you don't know how to go to the bank and get financing from them. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? 
So again, when we're talking about how do wealthy families use infinite banking is they start small. Right. You know, infants have policies at 15 days old and they're building and the family is working together to build that child's policy, build the cash value, build the dividends, build the death benefit because they're already thinking about the next generation to come, which is huge. Right. And, and now that you say that, how it's so difficult for us to wrap our head around uh, borrowing from ourselves versus the bank, mm -hmm. they have a hard time wrapping their head around, why would I borrow from the bank when we have our own family bank? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're absolutely right. But to carry on, yes. we're, uh, the, are we on four, point number four? Yes, point number four mm -hmm. is taxes. Yes, <laughs> because guess what? Taxes are one of those things that is inevitable besides death, Taxes is one of those other things that we are obligated to do. Mm -hmm. um, so if you already know on an annual basis that you're going to pay taxes, create a banking system in place so that you can utilize the cash value from your policy to pay those taxes and you pay yourself that money back plus principal and interest. So you can use it again next year. So you can use it again next year. And because you're paying yourself interest, that overage is going to cover maybe an increase of taxes come next year. No, there will be an increase in taxes because you yeah. you always make more money the following year. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> so again, think about it. You know, all we're doing is being proactive instead of reactive. Yes. You know taxes are coming. Set a plan in place in order to pay for your taxes. Point number five is charitable giving. They utilize their whole life insurance policies or infinite banking concept to do charitable giving. Mm -hmm. So when they have a policy dedicated for this, every year they're able to donate more and more money. Think about that. Again, these are things that we're habitually doing. If anyway. You, you tithe, you donate, you're giving, you already do that. Mm -hmm. Put a system in place to be able to utilize the cash value from your policies to give, to tithe, and then pay all that money back to yourself so you have more to give next year. Yeah. Yeah. So just think about it. If you're giving and able to give more, mm -hmm every single year because of the growth inside your policy, mm -hmm. you, you've you been able to put not only the place that you've donated in, in a better position, but you were able to give more. Yeah, yeah. so again, with a, what we're talking about high level is we're talking about programming. Mm -hmm. And then we're diving a little bit deeper just to talk about specific things that we personally know wealthy families do with infinite banking. And we love sharing this information because for us, when we first understood this information, it rocked us every single time. We're like, yeah. what? This is crazy. So we hope that you all are having similar experiences with the information that we're sharing because it's all a paradigm shift. Yes. So definitely like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. And check out our Patreon page. Yeah. And also remember to own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.